Sky News can reveal five big companies are suing governments for 18 billion US dollars, around 13 billion pounds, for a possible loss of earnings due to climate action. Our climate change correspondent Hannah Thomas-Peter has more. Fossil fuel companies are suing governments across the world for more than $18 billion for taking action against climate change that threatened their profits, according to research conducted by campaign group Global Justice Now and provided exclusively to Sky News. TC Energy, RWE, Uniper, Rockhopper and Ascent are using a legal process that allows commercial entities to sue governments under international laws governing trade agreements and treaties. The 18 billion they are collectively suing for is almost a quarter of the entire climate funding provided by developed nations to developing ones. That's according to a recent assessment by the OECD, which put the figure at $78.9 billion. So what are these lawsuits? Rockhopper is currently suing the Italian government for $325 million in a dispute related to a ban on offshore oil drilling close to the coastline. Ascent is asking for $118 million from Slovenia after it passed legislation requiring environmental assessments for fracking. Keystone XL pipeline company TC Energy is suing the US government for $15 billion after it cancelled the project, calling it inconsistent with the administration's climate imperatives. Meanwhile, RWE and Uniper are suing the Dutch government for $1.6 billion and $1 billion each following the Dutch government's move to phase out coal and shut down coal-fired power plants. The majority of the cases are being brought under the Energy Charter Treaty and are being hosted within the International Centre for the Settlement of Investment Disputes, a branch of the World Bank. Sky News has contacted all five companies who say their court actions are simply to protect themselves from the effects of the changing energy investment landscape. But climate change campaigners say that energy companies are responsible for harming the environment and should be paying to fix it rather than suing governments.